Not even a year after the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA already has their eyes on the future. In true NASA fashion, it looks like they're thinking 10 years ahead. The James Webb Space Telescope is the peak of scientific technology. It is capable of things we've only dreamed of. But when it comes to astronomy, enough never is. We want more. We want to know every dark secret of space, see every little crevice in the farthest corners of the universe. We want it all. And as such, the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor was born, better known as the Louvoir. This massive telescope dwarfs the already larger-than-life JWST. Background Don't get too excited. The Louvoir is still extremely early in production. Its blueprints haven't even been finalized yet. Starting in 2016, NASA began considering four different telescope concepts for future large strategic science missions. The Habitable Exoplanet Imaging Mission, known as HABEX, the Origin Space Telescope, known as OST, the Lynx X-ray Observatory, Lynx for short, and last but not least, the Large Ultraviolet Optical Infrared Surveyor, known as the Louvoir. The concepts for the telescope were in production for a number of years before the four teams presented their final reports on the projects to the National Academy of Science in 2019. Then, their independent Decadal Survey Committee went on to advise NASA on which mission they thought should take top priority. If funded, the Louvoir would launch in 2039, using a heavy launch vehicle, and it would be placed in an orbit around the Sun in Lagrange II, the same area as the JWST is currently orbiting. Design Before we even think about rockets, orbits, and whatnot, the Louvoir study team has to decide between two variants, one with a 15.1-meter diameter telescope mirror, Louvoir A, and one with an 8-meter diameter telescope mirror, Louvoir B. Louvoir A, previously known as the High Definition Space Telescope, HDST, would be composed of 36 mirror segments with an aperture of 15.1 meters or 50 feet in diameter offering images up to 25 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. Louvoir A would be large enough to find and study the dozens of Earth-like planets in our nearby neighborhood. It could resolve objects such as the nucleus of a small galaxy or a gas cloud on the way to collapsing into a star and planets. The first study for the HDST was published by the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy ORA, on July 6, 2015. The case for HDST was made in a report entitled From Cosmic Birth to Living Earths on the Future of Astronomy commissioned by Aura, which runs the Hubble and other observatories on behalf of NASA and the National Science Foundation. Ideas for the original HDST proposal included an internal coronagraph, a disk that blocks light from the central star, making a dim planet more visible, and a star shader that would float kilometers out in front of it to perform the same function as the JWST sunshield. Louvoir A folds, so it only needs an 8-meter wide payload fairing. Initial cost estimates are approximately 10 billion US dollars, with a lifetime cost estimating of 18 to 24 billion dollars. On the other hand, Louvoir B, previously known as the Advanced Technology Large Aperture Space Telescope, at last is an 8-meter wide telescope initially developed by the Space Telescope Science Institute, the Science Operations Center for the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. While smaller than Louvoir A, it is being designed to produce an angular resolution that is five times better than the JWST and a sensitivity limit that is up to 2,000 times better than HST. The Louvoir study team expects that the telescope would be able to be serviced, similar to HST, either by an uncrewed spacecraft or by astronauts via Orion or Starship. Instruments such as cameras could potentially be replaced and returned to Earth for analysis of their components and future upgrades. The original acronym used for the initial mission concept was at last. It was a pun referring to the time taken to decide on a successor for HST. Atlas itself had three different proposed structures, an 8-meter monolithic mirror telescope, a 16.8-meter segmented mirror telescope, and a 9.2-meter segmented mirror telescope. The current Louvoir B design adopts JWST blueprints, essentially being an incrementally larger variant of the JWST, which has a 6.5-meter segmented main mirror. Running on solar power, it would use an internal coronagraph or an external occulter 
it can characterize the atmosphere and surface of an Earth-sized exoplanet in the habitable zone of long-lived stars at distances up to 140 light-years, including its rotation rate, climate, and habitability. The telescope would also allow researchers to learn information on the nature of the dominant surface features, changes in cloud cover and climate, and potentially season variations in surface vegetation. Louvoir B was designed to launch on a heavy lift rocket with an industry standard 5 meters diameter launch fairing. Lifetime cost estimates range from 12 billion to 18 billion US dollars. Both would be able to observe ultraviolet, visible, and near infrared wavelengths of light. The primary difference between the two being budgeting and size restraints. Over its five year primary mission, Louvoir A is expected to identify and study 54 potentially habitable exoplanets, while Louvoir B is expected to identify 28. Louvoir would be equipped with an internal coronagraph instrument called Eclipse for extreme coronagraph for living planetary systems to enable direct observations of Earth like exoplanets. An external star shader is also an option for the smaller Louvoir design. While its final blueprints aren't set in stone, scientific instruments such as a high-definition imager, a wide-field near-UV camera, and a near-infrared camera are all candidates for a place on this telescope. The observatory would also observe wavelengths of light, from the far ultraviolet to the near-infrared, to enable the extreme wavefront stability needed for coronagraphic observations of Earth-like exoplanets. The Louvoir design incorporates three principles. First, vibrations and mechanical disturbances throughout the observatory are minimized. Second, the telescope and coronagraph both incorporate several layers of wavefront control through active optics. And third, the telescope is actively heated to a precise 270 Kelvin, minus 3 degrees Celsius, or 26 degrees Fahrenheit, to control thermal disturbances. Mission the final report on the five-year Louvoir mission concept was publicly released on 26 August 2019. While Louvoir is still a concept for a general-purpose observatory, it has the key science goal of characterizing a wide range of exoplanets, including those that might be habitable. An additional goal is to enable a broad range of astrophysics from the reionization epoch through galaxy formation and evolution to star and planet formation. Powerful imaging and spectroscopy observations of solar system bodies would also be possible. Louvoir would be a large strategic science mission and development is still being considered to start sometime in the 2020s. Louvoir's main goals are to investigate exoplanets, cosmic origins, and the solar system. Louvoir would be able to analyze the structure and composition of exoplanet atmospheres and surfaces. It could also detect biosignatures arising from life in the atmosphere of a distant exoplanet. Important atmospheric biosignatures would consist of CO2, molecular oxygen, and ozone, water, and methane. Louvoir's multi-wavelength capability would also provide key information to help understand how a host star's UV radiation regulates the atmospheric photochemistry on habitable planets. Louvoir will also observe large number of exoplanets spanning a wide range of characteristics such as mass, age, host star type, etc. In the area of solar system studies, Louvoir can provide up to 25 km imaging resolution in visible light at Jupiter, permitting detailed monitoring of atmospheric dynamics in Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune over long timescales. Sensitive high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy of solar system comets, asteroids, moons, and Kuiper Belt objects that will not be visited by spacecraft in the foreseeable future can provide vital information on the processes that formed the solar system ages ago. Furthermore, Louvoir has an important role to play by studying plumes from the ocean moons of the outer solar system, in particular Europa and Enceladus, over long timescales. Missions such as these only scratch the surface of Louvoir's potential. Given Louvoir's massive size, it would theoretically see much more than even the JWST, and the JWST can see a lot. While it may be a long time before we see the Louvoir in action, for now, it stands as an idea of what could be. Much like with the same symbol of the JWST was for a number of decades, hopefully without the several delays. Even so, this larger-than-life telescope pushes the envelope. Every day we knock on the secret door of the universe, and every day it inches open just a little more.
Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in the years to come, we will uncover more about the universe than our ancestors thought possible. Perhaps you will look at this video in 20 years after the launch of the Louvoir and we menace about the time when we dared to dream and know that dreams are only plans for achievements yet to come. Thanks for joining us in this video of Starlight. While you're here, feel free to check out one of these following videos on science, entertainment, and news. Till next time.